so now once the form validation is done we will proceed and create user with email and password make sure to make this this on pressed event asynchronous since we have to wait for the response from the form validation and also on our auth view model inside this validate sign up form let's start from the first else that is if any error occur for example if the image is equals to null then after displaying the message we have to make sure that we return from here that is do not execute the remaining code similarly here if password become equals to if not equals to confirm password that is else statement will execute so in that case we have to make sure to return similarly inside this also so now let's proceed step by step as i told you first we will create user with email and password and that is basically create user in firebase authentication so let's implement this method create user in firebase authentication so here we can say create user in firebase auth this method will be asynchronous we create an instance of the firebase user and then we can say firebase auth dot instance dot create user with email and password now to this we have to pass the email and password of the seller so the email is as you know to this method we will pass so the first parameter it will receive is email and then the second one will be the password and we have to pass it from here as well that is the email and password so if it is executed successfully which means if the user is created with email and password in the firebase authentication then how we will know for that purpose we can say dot then we will give it name as value auth so if the user is created successfully that value we can get using value auth dot user if it is equals to null it simply means the user is not created successfully if it is not equals to null then it means the user is created successfully we will assign this to our current firebase user also then if any error occur for that we can say dot catch error so if any error occur we can say error message And then we can say common view model dot show snake bar the message will be whatever the error message is and the context we have to pass from here email password context which we will receive here as a parameter So this piece of code will basically create user in Firebase authentication using their email and password. Now here one thing which we have to make sure is we will check if the current Firebase user become equals to null. That is if it is not created successfully then in that case we have to make sure that we return from here and we do not want the code to execute further. So this was the first step. Now the second step is make sure to make this method asynchronous as well okay just add asynchronous here and then we, we will wait for this method to execute completely then after this comes the second step and it is to upload the user image to database so you can say upload image to storage which is firebase storage to this method we will pass the image x file and now let's implement this method
so to upload image to the storage we need a unique name for the image file so let's say file name you know in order to create a unique name we will use the date time as you know time once passed can never be recalled so you can say that we can use time key as a unique key because it cannot be replaced or duplicate millisecond since epoch dot to string and let's import firebase storage as f storage so now what we can do is we can simply say f storage dot reference storage reference storage reference simply means where we want to put our image file that is where we want to upload our image so we can say f storage dot firebase storage instance dot reference dot child so inside the storage we will create a folder by the name seller images and inside that folder we will basically save our images files from the seller so we can say dot child file name then we can say f storage dot upload task let's give it name as upload task now we are going to start uploading it to the storage so now using our reference storage reference let's start uploading the file we can simply say put file at this location at this reference and we will pass our file path to it make sure to import this one which is file.io and the path is our image x file dot path and make sure that write the type object which is x file so it will put the file at this reference okay this is the uploading part and now once the uploading is started we have to wait that is if it is uploaded successfully then we will get the download URL as response so we can get that using task snapshot we can say task snapshot task snapshot so we are waiting that is once the upload is completed upload task dot to when complete when it is completed then we will get the download URL as a response so we can simply say task snapshot dot reference dot get download URL dot then let's name it to URL image so that URL download URL Im image we get that is the link to that image we will get that and we will assign it to our string type variable download URL we can say download URL and assign the URL image to it and then this method will return the download URL so once it is executed it will upload the image to the storage as a response we will get the download URL which this method will return as a response so as it will return as a response we will assign it to a string type variable download url then the third step is to save the user data to the firestore database so we can say save now to this method we will pass some parameters and that will be first of all the user state which we can get using a current firebase user which you already know with the help of which we can get the authenticated user info like uid email so 
outside the this code that is here okay after this last if condition we can simply say return current firebase user so this method will return the current firebase user so what we can do is this is the method we can get that here we can say user which is firebase opt and we can say current firebase user so as you know it returns the current firebase user so we will get that once it is executed successfully and it will be assigned to this current firebase user so now the next thing is this we have to pass to this save user data to file store method also we will pass the download url then the name of the seller email of the seller password then location address so now let's implement this method with these required parameters so we are calling it from here and we will implement here and inside this method we are receiving these following parameters firebase file store dot instance dot collection inside the file store database we will have a main collection by the name sellers in which under which we will save all the sellers records and each seller record will be recognized by its document ID which will be the unique user ID for each uh, seller so we can say current firebase user dot UID dot set set the information inside it so the first thing will be the UID of the seller which we can get using current firebase user dot UID then the email of the seller which is email then name which is name then uh, image of the seller which is download URL then phone which we forgot to pass so let's add the last parameter to it which will be phone make sure to pass it from here as well after location address so phone will be phone of the seller then of course address address is address which is location address then each seller profile will, ha will have a status either blocked or activa activated which will which can be set by the admin owner of the application so for now the status will be approved by default and then we will have earnings 0, 0.0 at the start and then the geographic coordinates for example latitude and longitude latitude will be position dot latitude and then longitude will be position dot longitude so this is the seller information which we will save inside the seller's main collection inside the database and each seller will have its own document unique id under which this information will be saved